I now have the ability to wear this hair for another two weeks, maybe even three. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i wash my hair when i have this hairstyle and i like to wash my hair once a week and if i'm feeling lazy once every like one and a half weeks maybe two right now it's going on the week and a half mark and it's about that time so it's really because i ran out of dry shampoo so <laughs> so i have to wash it and i need to get more dry shampoo so i'm gonna start off by breaking up the crochet just dividing it so that your scalp y'all can see I'm scared to show y'all what it's looking like. I don't know what it's looking like right now. Okay, it's not looking too bad. It's not looking flaky, you know. So that's that's a good sign. <laughs> um yeah, so I'm gonna start off by breaking and separating the crochet, making sure my scalp is visible on all the cornrows and a quick little disclaimer that i should have said before i do have on a towel so and y'all not gonna see nothing anything below my neck so it, it doesn't matter but that's what's going on so i'm gonna separate everything like so So I have had this hairstyle in going on a month. It's probably past the month by now because I did it in, yeah, I want to say I did it the second week of May and now we're in June. Today is June 12th. So big hair just like really suits me. So this is like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite styles to do. Anyways. So now after you've separated everything and your scalp is very much visible, you're gonna take your shampoo of choice. I'm sorry if I'm not looking like at the camera, I'm looking in the mirror at myself and just making sure that everything is working how it's supposed to. But after you separate, you're gonna wanna take your shampoo of choice. Today I'm using the Pura Door hair thinning therapy shampoo this is a great expensive shampoo um really i just use whatever shampoo i have on hand um usually that's aussie moist especially like this being synthetic hair it doesn't really need anything um extra like shampoo is shampoo in my book i know that's not really the case okay I know some shampoo is better than others, some are drying, some are moisturizing, but that's not what we're here for today. Today, we just wanna clean our scalp. So I will be using this hair thinning therapy shampoo. Um, this is my husband's shampoo and I really like it because like as y'all can see, like my scalp is not that flaky and I have a very dry scalp. And I'm, especially with this hairstyle being low maintenance, especially with this hairstyle being low maintenance, I tend to neglect my natural hair and I don't moisturize it as often as I should. I know, but this shampoo is a very, very good. It does not dry your hair out, but it still leaves my scalp feeling clean. Um, my hair is braided, like think of it as like a sew-in. If your hair isn't clean, or your scalp isn't clean, you're gonna have like a, a smell, it's gonna smell, milk. it's not gonna smell fresh, but there is peppermint in here. Yeah, tea tree and peppermint. That's the smell that I'm smelling. I don't know if it's actually in here. Let me take a look. Aloe, tea tree, saw palmetto, 
vitamin E, lemon, yeah. Definitely very clean scents. Um, so it, it, it makes your hair feel clean and it actually does what it's supposed to do. So this is a very good shampoo. Pick your shampoo of choice and go ahead and begin using it. This is how, how you're gonna use the shampoo. You're gonna take some and you're going to put it directly on your scalp. I'm not in the shower, I'm out. Before I hop in the shower, I'm going to put the shampoo directly on my scalp and I'm gonna push it into the corn roll. So I didn't always do it, do it this way. I used to just get in the shower, like I'm washing my regular hair, I would just get in the shower, wet my hair, and then put the shampoo like that. But I noticed because my actual hair is in cornrows, that might not be the best way to go about it because the shampoo isn't really getting into the nooks and crannies, if you get what I'm talking about. It's, when you think about it, it just makes more sense to do it this way. So again, I'm taking a pump of shampoo and if you're familiar with greasing your scalp, it's basically the same thing. Like you're just greasing your scalp with shampoo. I'm trying to work fast just to show you that it really isn't a long process. It doesn't have to take long. You don't have to dread washing your hair because I definitely used to like, especially having this much hair on my head, I'm like, ugh. I don't really want to deal with it right now. So now that we have um, shampoo on our scalp, I'm going to take some water from the faucet on my hands and then just massage my scalp. The water is going to come together with the shampoo. It's going to lather and serve as a pre-wash before we get into the shower. As you can see, there's a lot more soap action going on. I'm just going to go in between every cornrow and massage my scalp, massage the cornrow. And this is your pre-wash in the sink. I'm gonna hop into the shower, rinse all of this off, and then I'm gonna repeat it a second time in the shower. I'm gonna go ahead and begin putting shampoo for round two. Start by just parting my hair one time and then apply it directly to the cornrow and massage. You're gonna do that for every, every cornrow. That's when you're gonna really get in and massage and scrub your scalp. So this is what my hair is looking like after I've like shampooed every cornrow and I put some on the actual crochet. I'm just gonna go ahead and massage and scratch my scalp. I'm gonna make sure I'm digging my fingers underneath the braids, just really getting in there. After this, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my hair off and I'll see you guys when I'm done. <laughs> this is what my hair is looking like fresh out of the shower. It's very, very wet right now. You're gonna wanna keep, like if I just shake it, the water falls out. So you're gonna wanna keep a towel um, by you just to soak up the water around your shoulders. I do recommend washing your hair at nighttime because it's just, you know, it, it'll dry in the nighttime and you don't have to disrupt your daily activities. So I'm gonna keep it like this for the rest of my evening. I believe it's about six o'clock. Um, for my leave out, I'm not gonna put anything 
on the rest of my hair but on my leave out just to make sure that it doesn't like dry out on me i'm gonna take my olive oil super sickening leave-in conditioner and just put that on for tonight and then i might twist it up because i have a lot of um what's it called shrinkage so just to stretch out my hair i'm gonna put this in and twist it up you can put any moisturizer that you typically put on your natural hair i will see y'all in the morning good morning okay so it's the next morning it's about 7 a.m and i'm getting ready to go to the gym i have on my like just a regular t-shirt and leggings to go to the gym this is what my hair is looking like you can still let's take a look at that scalp yeah it's looking fresh and clean so right now about this time this is when i would go in with my dry shampoo and just spray in between um the cornrows just to to act as a finishing touch just to make sure everything is nice and clean and then i would like fluff it out um but i don't have dry shampoo right now so i'm gonna have to do that another time but i think i'm okay especially since i'm going to the gym um i can always just dry shampoo after so now i'm going to detangle my little cornrows and moisturize them using topical tropic isle living jamaican black castor oil hair growth leave-in mist it has three um plant-based boosters aloe vera rose water and shea oil three-day moisture condition detangles and refresh this is great for um like protective styling especially like someone like me who doesn't moisturize as much as they need to um the three-day moisture is amazing and i'm also thinking about um going in and because like my part i have minimal leave out and my part is looking kind of wide because i have a lot of like i hope you guys can see i have just a lot of new growth so the part is widened up a bit i can go in to make the hairstyle last a little longer i can go in and crochet some um more marley hair right here right here let's see what we can get for our final result i'm gonna show you guys the back like it's <laughs> it's really time to come out like and just redo it again but i'm not so i'm just gonna start puffing it out and seeing how big i can get it if it's not big enough then I will add more hair. I'm not combing to detangle the hair. I'm combing just to like um, fluff it out and just to kind of like separate the the big sort of mats or whatever, just to just to give it more more surface area. As you can see, like this part is less like choppy versus this side is just like. You know you can you can see the difference if this is my natural hair i would probably like hate doing this every day because this is not really this is not healthy for your hair at all if you were doing this every day like this you get a lot of breakage your hair will be dry <laughs> um matted but here all those things really add to the hairstyle and build its character and just make it more authentic so this is what my hair is looking like after i fluffed it out i'm gonna turn it around and let you guys get a good look at the back up top so after you're done brushing like brushing um it out you're gonna get like a few pieces like that that kind of just stick out out of place that's when you can go in with your scissors and just cut it out and kind of like reshape the fro so that's what i'm about to do
make sure you don't cut too too much like cut like half of what you think you should cut because this hair shrinks so if you let's say you pull it and you cut right here because let's say you pull it and you cut right here because you want it to go like that it's gonna go even shorter than that so you want to kind of not be scissor happy when it comes to this otherwise you're not going to be happy with the result so i had to learn that the hard way because every time i would wash like i would end up cutting 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 and by the time i'm done with the hairstyle i no longer have this big situation that i want it's much smaller which is fine if that's what you want but that's not what i wanted i'm gonna go ahead and crochet some more where I said earlier in the middle here, and then I'm gonna put some bigger crochets down the back of my head, starting about here, just to fill in that gap because, you know, the hair has been in for a while, so it's kind of like looking sparse in that area. So I'm just gonna put some for the wind, if the wind blows. So the crochet comes pre-sectioned, you're going to split it in half and then you're going to split it in half again. So make it into four. Twist it around your finger. I don't have my really small tiny crochet hook. And this one is much easier anyway. These are off of Amazon. I will link it down below in the description for crocheting. Let me see if I go closer and then I'm just gonna, you don't need a lot because I'm not trying to do too much right now. I need to be on my way. So I'm gonna loop the loop pull it through get that loop back and then i'm gonna put one side through the hole and then pull it tight this is what we're working with it looks kind of messy because the hair is all over the place but that's what it's giving i'm gonna do about three or four on this side, three or four on this side, and then I'm gonna shape them to cut, and then I'll come back so we can do taking out of the edges, and I can show you guys the final look. So this is the final product. I did everything that I said. So the new crochet that I added, um, I shaped it to the fro. It does have, it does look like new crochet. So it's gonna take like a few days to like look more rough, more blended, but I'm okay with that. Unless you're like staring at my hair, you probably won't notice it anyway. And this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped someone out there or like if you were wanting to try the hair but you didn't know how to manage it it's very easy um pretty straightforward as well i now have the ability to wear this hair for another two weeks maybe even three <laughs> who knows so yep thank you for watching my afro refresh and see you in the next one Bum 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 bum